Hello all and welcome to the Mug Life DIY. I am Julia and I am so excited that you decided to stop by my channel. So today I have four thrift flips for you and these just turned out so fun. I absolutely love them. And if you guys haven't watched any of my other nautical decor, you kind of know I have been adding a lot more throughout my home decor and I just really, really love it. My husband is in the military, so I like to include all of the little things here and there. I picked up this one little shadow box and I just thought it just needed a little brightening up and to kind of personalize it a little bit. So first thing I did was kind of dust out using my paintbrush and get a little bit of that old dust hanging around from all those cracks and crevices. Then I took my Rust-Oleum chalk paint and did two coats all the way around the inside of the frame. And I also had to later go back because I didn't think about the lighthouse till later. And a wonderful little side note is my voice is finally, finally back. If you guys haven't watched my last video, which was a struggle in more than one ways and quite humorous along the way, I lost my voice and trying to do voiceovers without your voice is quite difficult. So if you need a laugh, check the cards in the description for that fun video. And today I am participating in my friend Savannah from Savvy Cross with Savannah and Shayna from Robinson Repurposing. And today is the Thrift Flip Thursday. It is a 10 and below challenge and she hosts it every single month. So it is a lot of fun. And there is a new co-host every single month. And this month co-host is creating it by myself. So let's help her get to a thousand subscribers, show her some love. I will have her channel in the description box. So remember how I said I thought of it later? Hey, I should probably coat this wonderful kind of, I don't even know what we're gonna call that color wood, grayish tone. Uh, yeah, needed to cover that up. So gave that one coat of the white paint. Then I took my smallest, most fine paintbrush and began the detailing work. Now, since I live in Virginia, one of the closest lighthouse to us at Virginia Beach is Cape Henry. Now, growing up here, I have probably gone to this lighthouse too many times to actually remember or have record of. So I love bringing my kids here and I will show you guys some fun pictures of us a few weeks ago at the lighthouse. So I thought that would be a fun little thing to have, but I love having mementos and different things you know, that represent where you have been as a family. So I decided I wanted to create the Cape Henry Lighthouse. This is actually the newer Cape Henry Lighthouse. There's two of them. Yes, I know, so confusing, but both of them are called the Cape Henry Lighthouse. So this is the newer version, the black and white one. And I just began painting the black over the white. And so I didn't actually have to paint in the white section. I hope that makes sense. But this was such a fun and relaxing part because y'all know I love painting. It is a very relaxing thing for me and so much fun. Now, this is one of my new favorite plaid paints that they sent me. If you don't know, I am a plaid ambassador and I absolutely love getting and trying all new paints. And this color is so, so pretty. And I just wanted to add a little bit of a dimensional pop. So I just kind of stippled the blue paint all the way in the background and did a little bit distressing around the frame. Jumping into project two, I do have all of my project prices listed. Now, several of them were marked down and I love shopping on Military Monday or on Tuesday, they have a customer appreciation, but I like saving the most amount of money. Yes, even at the thrift store. So I believe they were 158, but I also got 50% off, but I won't count that. <laughs> so this really cute frame, I knew I wanted to print out some pictures and use it as an actual picture frame, but I hadn't had a chance to print out those pictures that I want to be next to my Cape Henry lighthouse, but I knew I wanted to also lighten it up. It was kind of a grayish 
brown color and I just thought it was a little bit too dark for what I was wanting. So I used my same Rust-Oleum chalk paint and added a nice thick coat all the way around that little frame. And just because I wanted to jazz it up a little bit, I took some Dollar Tree stickers and not quite sure where I wanted to put them, but just messed around until I really liked the placement of them and I set them down. Now these are, let um, me think, I think fairly new at the Dollar Tree and I just really like how they were almost like a buckle or a suitcase or a chest. So I kind of just went with it. And I lightly distressed a little bit of the edges around those pieces until I was happy with the color and overall look of the frame. And as I mentioned, I had not printed out the actual picture that I would like to include in this frame. So I took my favorite scrapbook paper that I have used in so many projects, originally from Michael's and I just adore it. So I love crafting with it. And I just cut it down to the size of the frame using that backing paper. And then I just placed it inside the frame with the glass and the back. On to project three. Now, if you didn't know, I love finding brand new items at the thrift store for cheap. This was originally $6.98 and of course, 50% off Friday. Now I have been wanting to make this shelf literally for the past year. That's how long I've had them. And they've just been sitting in a basket waiting for me to get the gumption to start this project. So I am an extremely sentimental crafter. This little shutter, I actually have two of them. I took out of my grandparents' house when I was flipping it for my mom and I have used them to decorate over the years. This one, I have seen so many amazing projects and it really just inspired me just to get this project done and do it. So what I did was we're gonna be making this into a shelf. I used some wood glue with a little bit of hot glue and glued some pop popsicle, mm, where's the hard guys? Used craft sticks, we'll just go with that and glued to the little middle section. I had to do that because there was a little bit of a gap where the little frame border of the shutter was. So I had to raise it up so that my actual <laughs> corbel had something to be glued to. So I had to let that dry. Of course, see, didn't think about the hot glue until later, you know, afterthought, the joys of rambling while you're crafting and went ahead and let that dry. Then I did the exact same thing with the corbels. I did a little bit of wood glue with a little bit of hot glue and I clamped them down. And all I needed to do was clamp them for 30 minutes and it's a quick drying glue, which I love. And that was it. I will also have in the description box uh, what this wood glue is called. I absolutely love it. I use it quite a bit when I'm doing other wood crafts. So if you're interested, I will have that item listed in my description box. Project four is just simply gonna be the power of paint. This price was $1.98. That was the 50% off. I believe it was $3.99. And I was so excited when I found it because it was actually on a real piece of wood. Not all the time can you actually find wood pieces. And I thought that was such a great deal. Two bucks for an actual wood craft that all it needed was a little bit of TLC and I could match it with my decor. So while my Rustalium chalk paint is out, I went ahead and gave everything really thick two coats of paint and let that dry. And if you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to check me out and I would love it if you would subscribe, like, comment. I love finding out which one of my projects are your favorites. 
Now, after I was completely done with the white paint, I took this metallic gold paint and I just love how it popped and I knew exactly where I wanted this placed. And here are the first three projects. I absolutely adore them. I love the story behind recycling and using this old shutter and the cute corbels that I fell in love with that were brand new from Kohl's apparently. So you could actually redo this project if you could find these corbels at your Kohl's. This is so fun. I can't wait to actually put my picture in it, but for right now, I really do love the make your own waves. I think it's very summery and beachy and perfect right next to my Cape Henry lighthouse. My sons were so excited when they saw it and they automatically knew which lighthouse it was. So I promised I would share some of our pictures from a few weeks ago of us visiting the lighthouses and all three of my kids had so much fun. It's actually one of our favorite beaches to visit. So I just thought I could share some of these really fun adventure photos of me, my husband, and all three of our little crazy kids. And my final project, I automatically knew I wanted it on my mantle. I knew the black and the white would be such a fun contrast and I've been kind of switching it out a little bit for summertime and I still feel like I want to add something else to my beautiful mantle that my brother made for me and I just really enjoyed recycling and using these thrifted flips. I want to thank both channels. I am a loss for words guys. Both channels and be sure to check the playlist listed down below and I'll see you guys next time.